Hi, my name is. My name is. All right, get that thing, get it. Scene one. Hi, welcome to my master class on how to be insufferably Parisian, even though I'm not even from Paris, but I'm just visiting on a holiday. So, welcome back to another video, and today we are gonna do a little bit of a book haul after not posting for nearly two weeks. And there's a good reason for that because I'm literally here, not in Melbourne, but actually in Paris, France, coming at you from the 6th arrondissement. And this is a great little apartment with a great view. I mean, this window is literally open, so I don't want to fall out of this window, but it's simply natural video light because I didn't bring my big video light here, but I think I'm rambling a little bit. Let's get to the point of this video. So during my time here in Paris, I took the liberty to go through a lot of little book stands. And that resulted in, well, first of all, financial damage to my bank account, which is not even in the Australian dollars. Right now it's actually in euros. So I have a lot less money than I, than I did when I was in Australia, but now I'm wasting all that money on books. And these aren't even books in English. These are books in French. And luckily I have a French major, so I can actually make sense of these books. So right here, I have a whole freaking stack that I'm gonna try to pack into my suitcase on my way back. Do you think that's a little overexposed? Because the light, because the light's coming out. Yeah. Because the sunlight's coming out, let me adjust it. So as a diehard James Joyce fan, I'm not satisfied with reading James Joyce twice in English or in Irish as they say, but I actually got myself a French edition of Ulysses. Found this near the Seine in one of those little book, book stations, you know, Le Bouquin like the little green box where they sell books. They also have nude postcards and like weird anatomy books. Yeah, Vic is getting the nude card. So yeah, they also have new cards. I'm not showing you what it is because I might get demonetized because I already have a warning on my account, but nevertheless, they have nude postcards and stuff. But out of the entire pile, I selected myself James Joyce's Ulysses in French. I might never read this one because I'm kind of sick of the book already, but I'm gonna keep this on my shelf for reference. Oh, or for decoration. Or for decoration. But second of all, I got these two volumes of Da Vinci's notebooks, and these are so hard to come by. It was originally like 45 euros, but then I talked to the guy. The guy asked me, you know, are you are you are you a professor? Because I had this sweater vest on with glasses. So I thought to myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just tell him I'm a professor. And he brought down the price to 35 euros for these two volumes. Well, Da Vinci's notebook. Well, there are no illustrations in here, but these are more like hand notes of Da Vinci's notebooks. These French cuts actually require you to cut open the pages, but I don't think I'm gonna do that because these are not actually books I wanna read, but these are more for like a, you know, crazy uncle's old rare books collection. And so for decoration. For decoration. Basically, I'm buying all these books for decoration. So that's Da Vinci out of the way. And, and this pile is the pile that I'm most, most excited about, uh, which consists of like two books and a book that's not really a book. First book is a little book that I got um, during the first proper day in Paris. Uh, we wandered into a bookstore. Well, Hannah right there, who's um, just chilling on the couch, um, tried to find a book by Simone Veil, and then she realized that, you know, she doesn't read French. So like, I ended up picking up Sartre's Being a Nothingness. And I actually tried to read this before bed, but multiple, on multiple occasions, it actually fell on my face. I'm gonna smash my nose in because it's such a big book and a very difficult book. But I'd have to say it's a lot more readable in French than in English. And again, not sure if this is a book that I'm actually gonna finish because it's not that relevant to my upcoming honors thesis. So then again, decoration. decoration. Basically decoration. So pretty books. I might start a rare books collection. Well, rare books from first-hand bookstore, so that's kind of ironic. And the next one is actually something I'm gonna read actively, which is Jacques Derrida's De la Crematologie. I've read half of this in English, and halfway through that book, I just kind of realized it doesn't make any sense in English because the translation is just, you know, it's not terrible, but they brought out a new edition with um, Judith Butler's introduction, and I read that piece, and I was just like, this is completely missing the point of Derrida. So don't buy that translation if you are a student of Derrida. Instead, I went all the way back to the source actually today, went into a bookstore and didn't expect to find any Derrida, but here it is, one of the most difficult books in French philosophy, De la Grammatologie by Jacques Derrida. And this is something I'm gonna have to go through actively as a part of my honors thesis. I'm probably make another video about, about this honors thesis down the line, but here's what I have right now. This is not gonna be a piece of decoration, but something that I will actively tarnish with pencil markings and plastic flags. And well, with um, a series of me banging my head against the wall trying to understand this book. Last but not least, this is a book uh, with the title Roman écrit à la main, which means 
a, a, a novel written by hand. And this is actually not a book, but this is a, a Gallimard edition of, of these really, really good books. But they're empty, so I can write my own novel in it. An hour ago, me and my little gang, we were at Le Dumago, which is one of these famous literary cafes. And I bought this little notebook uh, next door at a bookstore where I got Derrida. And I sat down at the Le Dumago and I started to write and nothing came out. And I thought to myself, oh my God, you're a useless piece of junk because you're literally sitting at the most famous literary cafe yet you can't get anything out of yourself. But nevertheless, this is a gorgeous notebook. I already filled about three, four pages over one half hour, two half hour. But um, I think this is, uh, this is pretty fun. Basically, that's what I have so far from my Paris book haul. Um, I'm sure there are gonna be a lot more books down the line. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna exceed my um, packing limit because I'm pushing it right now. So I'm gonna try my best not to buy more books, but then again, that's a false promise from book lovers. They always find more ways to buy new books. Nevertheless, I hope you're having an amazing day and I sure am having an amazing day because I'm literally in the most beautiful city in the world, in the most beautiful Airbnb imaginable. And I will see you in the next video where I will possibly take you on a little literary voyage or philosophical voyage around Paris with um, with uh, with a notebook and a pen in hand. Nevertheless, R.C. Walden here. Just a little quick update, catch up video, whatever you want to call this video. I am taking a little break from doing active work, but expect more theoretical based videos where I expect more videos on philosophy and literature and with so and so down the line. But for now, I'm taking a holiday for myself. Take care and goodbye. And I will see you in Paris again in the next video.